Hey everyone, this is Khalil Masi. I'm Alexandria Williams. And we are inside the Action Studio. This is Khalil Masi. We're inside the Action Studio. We're here in Chinatown, Philadelphia, the home of uh, Mr. Sifu Robert Samuels here. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, last time we saw him, we were sitting down and we were talking about John and yes. a whole bunch of other things. Which you helped produce. Which I was a part of, for as producer. I did a little cameo yeah, a little move something, through something, there too right, also. Right. So, but now we're here on the set of Made in Chinatown. Mm -hmm in Chinatown, Philadelphia here. And uh, I was going to want uh, Sifu here just to tell us, give us, without giving away the, what the project yeah, is all yeah, about, yeah, just yeah, give yeah, us yeah. a little backdrop on this. Oh yeah, so, um, you know, got approached by uh, executive producer Mark Wiley. Mm -hmm. um, he's an, another Philadelphian. Mm -hmm. um, he had a script uh, which mm -hmm. was very unique, uh, mm -hmm. dealing with the Italian mob mm -hmm. and a, a Chinese kid that wanted to join the mob. Mm -hmm. um, that hadn't been done before. I felt that that was kind of original. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of Kung Fu in the film. Mm -hmm. so. Basically, it's about a Chinese kid who has dreams of joining the mafia, mm -hmm. which that kind of plot structure hasn't been done before. Wow. So wow. I felt I'm always up for the challenges, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. So made some phone calls, um, brought in some of uh, my friends from Hong Kong. Yes. Uh, we have legendary actor Lo Meng involved mm -hmm. from the Five Deadly Venoms. Yes. Everyone yes. knows him. Uh -huh. um, we had Chu Chi Ling from Kung Fu Hustle. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a, a number of um, Hollywood actors involved, yes. Yes. Raymond Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Vinny Pastora, Tony Darrow, the list goes on and yeah, on. Yeah. How does it feel about having this project shoot right here in your hood, man? Oh well, it's uh, it's um, for me, it's um, it's like bringing it home, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I paid yeah. my dues, you know, yeah. overseas, working in Asia for so many years, mm -hmm. um, and the first opportunity I have to direct a full-length feature film here, yeah. um, I took advantage of it. So yeah, why not my home set city? And as I was talking to Dr. Wally about it too, it probably feels great just bringing business into the area. Yes, you know, yes, you know, yes. Things from the economic level. Exactly. Um, jobs and things like yep, that. Yep, yep. We, uh, we shot Creed here, uh, yeah. uh, Creed 2, not mm -hmm. too long ago. Mm -hmm. um, and this was the next feature film to be yeah. shot in Philadelphia. Exactly. So I'm just trying to, you know, keep the city Exactly. going in the business for lack of a better term we're, we're, we're trying to build and bridge this link here from Newark yes to Philly that's correct still making link we're here on the East Coast as well with New York City we're gonna that's right we're gonna make this thing that's happen. right it's gotta happen exactly. brother it's got to so, so you know I want to thank uh, Sifu Samuels with us he wears so many hats I directed <laughs> Sifu all of that action quarter day we're here with Bobby Samuels on the set of Made in Chinatown in Philadelphia and we are inside the action studio yes Hey everyone, this is Khalil Masi for Inside the Action Studio, and we're here with Sifu James Lu, uh, Big Trouble Little China, Daredevil, and Luke Cage, amongst others, which he's won an Emmy for as well. Uh, yeah, thank you for the great introduction. <laughs> I've, I've been very blessed yeah, in my life. Definitely. Um, so we're here on the set of Made in Chinatown, being shot here in Philadelphia. Tell us uh, what your involvement is in this project. I originally, oh, I've known Mark Wiley for like 20 years. Oh, okay. He talked about this project way back then. Okay. Just, hey, what do you think of this? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that man is stuck by it. Okay. And 20 years later, mm -hmm. here we are. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of credit for his mm -hmm. uh, persistence. Now, now, you're wearing two hats. In this project, uh, three. Three. Okay, okay. So... Originally, it was for okay. doing the stunts and fight coordinator. Uh -huh. Then also, he wanted me to play a part. Yes. Uh, then something happened the first week. They mm -hmm. decided to uh, release the first director. Okay. And it became... So now, my great brother, mm -hmm. Bobby Samuels, mm -hmm. and I are co-directing. Okay, okay. And I'm stunt fight coordinator still. Okay, okay. Still playing a part. Okay. And I'm doing some stills for the show too. <laughs> Multi-talented, multi multi What character do you play, real quick? Right now, the name is Lou. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hopefully, they change it to okay. something else. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk to you since then. I actually, I don't know if you remember, I worked with you on Luke Cage. I played Neville yes. Bondwell. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
how do you feel, sister? You won the Emmy for me, then. Uh, That's why. Okay. The best dying See, on I television. See, I owe him. The best dying on television. <laughs> I forgot to thank you at the. I thank. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how does it feel having that Emmy? It's, uh, it's still a little surreal uh -huh. because you know, in stunts, mm -hmm. there there aren't any really uh, awards. Yes for our great community. Mm -hmm. uh, the Oscars, mm -hmm. I have to say, you guys are, get on it, man. Mm -hmm. This is the new new mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Need to give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Emmys, mm -hmm. the Television Academy, yes. I'm just so thankful for them for recognizing yes. Yes. Uh, how much we contribute to mm -hmm. the entertainment industry. Well, folks, I'm not going to keep it long. We've got a hot meal waiting for them. Dim sum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kyle Omasi. I'm here with the legendary James Liu on Inside the Action Studio. Watch Made in Chinatown. All right. Damon John Barry. Okay, he's a film veteran, and he's been in Year of the Dragon, amongst many other films. Uh, Mr. Barry, who... Who is your character on this project? Give us some idea of who your character is and, and how is he integral to the plot line. I'm playing a, co a corrupt police commissioner. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, a guy's not honest. He has a great deal of authority. Uh -huh. He's smart. Uh -huh. um, you know, he's corrupt. What can I tell you? Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's not on the up and up. He takes money. He takes bribes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I owe everything to Robert Samuels. Mm -hmm. he, he's guiding me in a very quick shoot, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. three or four yeah. takes yeah, yeah. out, move yeah. on to the next. Like uh -huh. today, we're shooting four scenes, uh -huh. and I'm in every one of them. Okay. So, okay. you know, and if it weren't for uh, Robert Samuels, I'd be a little bit confused. Okay, okay, you know? okay. okay. Um, you know, it's really nice to be part of it. It's yeah. uh, it's cool, and I I've, I've been in Philadelphia. Okay. Um, two other times. Uh -huh. I ran in the Penn Relays mm -hmm. in 1961. Oh, okay. Wow. 60 and 59, and mm -hmm. I played two football games mm -hmm. against uh, University of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I played for Brown at mm -hmm. Franklin Field, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where the uh, mm -hmm. Eagles used to play, and that's my association mm -hmm. with uh, Philly. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could argue I'm a little bit... Uh, I, I did a play which I wrote in, in the People's Light and Theater Company in Malvern, Pennsylvania years ago, maybe 10 years ago. So we came into Philly a little bit, but okay. I was mostly at the theater. You so know. you spent a lot of time in Philly in the past. Well, not a heck of a lot of time, but when I was here, it was intense. Okay. okay. You know. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a good sense of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a specific flavor, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, happy to be here, yeah. you know. How, what is it like working with Robert and James Liu and the rest of the cast? Uh, it's ambush uh, filmmaking, uh -huh. very quick. Uh -huh. You got to be prepared. Yeah. You got to know your words. Uh -huh. You have to know who you are. Uh -huh. Uh, it's very easy to get uptight because everything's so fast. Mm -hmm. I'm old enough, I don't care. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's fun. Uh -huh. And I, I've arrived at that point in my life uh -huh. where, you know, what I'm doing is uh, kind of a party. You know what I'm you, saying? You, you work out a process for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know where you're going. Now, mind you, uh -huh. I do come very well prepared. Uh -huh. It's not like I'm goofing off. Uh -huh. uh, but it, it, it's really kind of fun shooting this. And yeah. I even have a sense that it might be a successful film. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I've done like 80 films, yeah. and uh, half of them you never heard of. Yeah. Uh, uh, the more successful ones, you know, you kind of get a sense. Uh, mm -hmm. I did uh, uh, like Born on the Fourth of July mm -hmm. with Oliver Stone yeah, and, yeah. and Year of the Dragon with yeah. uh, uh, Michael Cimino and, mm -hmm. you know, The Ref, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, and you can kind of sense when something has a possibility of taking off. And I do have an inkling, mainly because it's a good idea. It's about an Asian guy who wants to go into the mafia. It's unusual. And it's a collision of two cultures, you know. And oh, there's a lot of uh, kung fu and fighting and stuff. So you got enough action for younger people to get all uh, excited, you know. 
And uh, the concept of an Asian guy trying to join the mafia is kind of original. Uh, you know what I mean? It's cultural. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Uh, you can't join the mafia unless you're Italian. <laughs> exactly. It's a I couldn't join the mafia, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. Uh, and so that whole thing is Wait a kind you're of. Not Italian? What are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, somehow it feels ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm Irish and I got a okay. little Swedish in okay. me. Okay, okay. You know, um, but uh, I like it. It's yeah. fun. I, there's good spirit here. The the um, Italian dudes are guys from Sopranos, many of them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're fun to be around yeah. and. You know, uh, it, it, it's kind of, it beats working. Mm -hmm. I could have a nine to five job digging ditches like right now. Like man in the world. Yeah, you like know, I got, <laughs> I, I'm not yeah. working, man, I'm playing. So so after this, what's, what's next? What are you looking to do? Uh, they're talking to me about doing a TV series in Budapest, okay. <laughs> if you can believe that. I've worked okay. at one, uh, I've worked there one more, uh, one other time with Peter Greenaway. I did a, mm -hmm. Uh, a movie there called Tulsa Looper's Suitcase. It's a European film. Okay. And Peter Greenaway is a British okay. director. And uh, so I was in Budapest one other time. Mm -hmm. And uh, gosh, that would be interesting. Hey man, the life of an actor, man, traveling, vac vacation, paid vacation. Yeah, tell me yeah, about maybe it. You can get a good yeah. project. You know what you have to do? You have to get over the fear. Mm. It's scary mm -hmm. when you first start to act. Yeah. You, you, you have an audience in front of you. The camera is rolling. You want to be perfect. I don't want to be perfect anymore. I want to just do it. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, you and boy, does it make a difference. Definitely. It's fun. Definitely. You know? Like right now, I don't care what I say. <laughs> hey, well, you don't know. You gave us a lot of words of wisdom and a lot of pearls, man. And it's, and it's an honor to be able to stand here and talk with you. Likewise. Meet you. Thank right. you. All right. This is Khalil Masi. I wasn't even uptight. <laughs> I wasn't either. <laughs> and we are inside the action studio.